What is going on guys today? We're going to be looking at prime moment Zanetti. He has had a few versions. His 87 base was a left back. His 88 was a right back. And then we also had a prime that was a right back. So instead of getting the CDM card this year, we have got another left back. So literally you have the choice of a 93 left back or a 92 right back. In terms of the upgrade, his prime moment has had a 22 upgrade on his shooting. Don't understand if that's um, something to do with the, the version of him. Um, I wonder what, what does it say here? Trophy Milan, major role in the 3-0. Did he score? Taking an early lead before Zanetti left his dramatics. Fashion, waiting on the edge of the box at a free kick. Ball was knocked down, penalty stepped forward. Far home, a brilliant effort into top corner. So that predominantly is why he's had an upgrade, which is fantastic. I know EA were talking about something like the team of the week was going to have something like that. So it's nice to see that they have stuck to that and have given him a huge, huge upgrade on his shooting. Not that you're necessarily going to want him firing through i feel like this guy potentially if you do go like a five at the back with a center back that could go left back you probably want to whack him in the middle of the, the, like the middle of the field really five ten high high work rates he's going to be a nice card he's got the stamina strength obviously will come with the anchor you'll get that up to 88 you'll end up with 93 aggression and 61 jumping his defending will go up to 96 and he'll also have 92 pace alongside just 90 passing and 85 shooting if you do whack an anchor on him you could get a 95 left back or right back a 94 left wing back right wing back center back or cdm for me i feel like this guy genuinely could play really well in a cdm what we're going to do is try him as a left back to start with if we're seeing not great results i do want to test him out as a cdm just to see what he can do i feel like the stats are alongside him on this card obviously last year we got a 94 cdm so i'm interested to see what that card can do again so let's jump straight in we've got solid player and team player as his two traits and obviously he did spend pretty much most of his career at inter which is just incredible that he got up to 858 games absolutely sensational let's see what zanetti can do zanetti's first touch on the ball gets it straight into ronaldo with a lovely pass we do see it down for him but virgil is going to stop him in his tracks Cannavaro is going to see it to zanetti and try and find that run of ronaldo it's going offside there Zanetti's going to find his way through. What can we see from him? Oh, we faint it. Oh, it's into Bruno. That's a lovely ball, but Gomez again is going to be in the way, and Bruno is going to tap it away very, very nicely. Owen, good save from Allison. Coming for that, like, that really, really minute spot that we might be able to go around his near post. Finesse. Okay, okay, he's testing the keeper. Obviously not the greatest of shots in the world, but we are testing him a little bit. And he is, Allison's pulling through for him, to be honest with you. Pushing really forward. Ronaldo's going to find Zanetti. Go down the wing. I feel like it is a bit of a waste putting a million pound, a million pound. I wish I had a million pound. A million coin left back in there and kind of like having the ability that he does have. It's a great say, uh, block from Kaliba there. But putting him in kind of like that left back role and not giving him the freedom to kind of go forward with the ball. Obviously, he's not really meant for going forward too much because he is a left back. But I feel like he does have the capabilities to, to definitely do something. Ronaldo finding Zanetti again. I'm going to find that through ball. That's a Kaliba's going to be one really hard one to get past. He is a very, very, very good right back. I feel like if anybody missed out on that card, then you definitely mi mi missed out on a cracker. Couldn't get my words out. Oh, it's a lovely little play. It's a great cross into Bruno. Just doesn't manage to get the full header on him. As we find him again. Oh, gone for that rash challenge. Oh, how's he keeping that one in? Beautiful. Ronaldo nearly sent him a thunder shot down a wing there. See if we can find him again. We can see someone completely open over there. Zanetti coming into the rescue on that middle bit there. Zanetti with the block. Love to see it. One more to Zanetti. Can we see Ronaldo? Oh, we've took it one too far, but it has managed to get through. We get a ball into Cantona, who Walker is going to see it out of play. Feels like Zanetti hasn't really got into this game, to be honest. But it's mainly because he is going down the, well, his left, my 
no, yeah, he's no, he's going down the other side basically. Do see him through here. He does get involved. Literally, all you have to do is is knock it to him, and you can kind of already see that. You don't even necessarily have to force him to get involved once he has the ball. It is literally just about giving him the ball. Oh, nearly gets the assist from Ronaldo there. Zanetti, what can we do with him? Whack it across, start that little run. You know he likes to push forward. We just need Ronaldo to show the same love. It's good strength battle. Whips that ball and that's a cracking ball. If you have someone who can head that ball... You are scoring so many headers with that crossing. And I think it's the most dangerous thing with a lot of left-back right-backs this year is a lot of them are very, very good at crossing, which will definitely entice people more to play five at the back because their right wing-back, left wing-back can cross, pass, and that's all you need them for. Then you have literally finishers everywhere up front. Zanetti blocks him once, takes the ball off him, and delivers it down the wing. Just nice play. Standard, simple, and very, very effective. Oh, has he got a penalty? Did not think that that was a penalty whatsoever, but we'll absolutely take it to get Top another left. goal with him. That's a beautiful penalty. Oh, pings off the post to Owen. What can we see? We've got options to his right. It's going to go across goal, and Ronaldo with a cheeky little heel into the net. Owen with the assist. So going into Zanetti's overall then, obviously left wing back or left back for instance, which is where we played him. I didn't really want to move him out of there to be honest. He was solid, absolutely solid down there, going up and down with Ronaldo, doing very, very well. Obviously the chem stop we went with is the anchor, turns his pace into 92, 96 defended, 89 physicals, absolutely solid throughout. 2,522 in games. Most definitely, you could bring this card inside, but I feel like we've already kind of, we already know what that card is going to be like. I was interested to see what his left back is like. Obviously, he is a right-footed player playing at left back. I'm sure you could probably find out the the same vice versa, a, a left-footed player playing at right back. Switch them over. You've got a job well done there. To be honest, he is worth it. Like I think under a mil, absolutely fantastic. Is he my favourite left back? Probably not. Fernand Mendy is so cheap, it's unreal, and you can easily, easily afford him. Whereas I think with with this card, 900, 810, 855, you are looking way under the 900k mark. And like I said in the Owen review, always check the market sale history. Because yes, 905, but only one has sold for 900 in the past day. You've got 850, 810, 845. All with them bids, so make sure you are getting your prices. Don't get ripped off with these icons because there is a not enough supply to keep the the kind of price at a certain point. In terms of obviously being an anchor, fantastic throughout. Two star skills, not too fussed about that. Great four star weak foot. Team player, solid player, whatever they mean, and obviously has plenty of links in the Argentinian nation. In terms of left mid, we've obviously got Pereira, Martinez, uh, Perotti. In terms of centre back partnerships, you've got Sensi. Uh, Sensi. You've obviously got Romero. I think is that Romero the same as the one that's got the? He does. I did think that he's got the seventy four silver and then two informs as well. So having a cracking season himself. And then in terms of midfielders, obviously. Maradona, incredible player. Obviously, he's going to be a little bit more expensive than your than your Zam, than your Zambrotta, Zambrotta, Zanetti. Obviously, Raquel me don't really think anybody's going to be using him anytime soon. Veron's a solid centre mid. Realistically, he's not awful. Um, I'm think I'm going to pick him up very soon. Alessandro, uh, Alessandro Gomez, cracking midfielder, and obviously the free Pastore that you could get. And whether I prefer him as a right back prime or a left back, obviously the shooting I don't really care about. It's it's a nice little added stat bonus and does kind of add them extra stats onto him. But in terms of actually, is it effective in the card? He doesn't shoot. He's a left back. I'm not going all the way to the goal with him unless I really forced it and knew the opponent would let me through like that. So realistically, that for me is just a thrown in the bin argument. In terms of everything else, plus ones and a one two. I don't really think that's massive. So I think if you are preferring a right back, stick with a prime. Definitely stick with a prime. I feel like the 88 was an SBC, 681k way back when. So that one is expired. And you could have literally got the prime for under that price in terms of tradable coins. But overall, the left back was nice. 
is he the best left back on the game? More than likely not. Ferlan Mendy is still phenomenal. You've got Prime Moment, Roberto Carlos, Ashley Cole, who I haven't used yet. So he's going to be an interesting one. And many, many more. So for me, it's in the top tier, but not quite top left back. I'd probably move him into CDM if you are unhappy with him as left back. But then obviously you need to find either a custom formation that, that allows that, or you could just super sub him. Overall wise, I'm giving him an 8.8. .8. Let me know down below what you think about Zanetti. Make sure you like and subscribe. Peace.